Live. I'm Peter Kessler. It is a great pleasure to introduce you to four members of one of the greatest golf families in the history of American golf, the Harmon brothers, Butch, Dick, Craig, and Bill. Great to have you here, fellas. Oh, Peter. Peter, happy to be Thanks, here. Peter. I've spent a lot of time with Butch, and when we're together, he suggests that when he was a kid and a student that his nickname was the one-man think tank and that Harvard was looking for him when he was in high school. Is that a true story? Harvard? Huh. That must have been Officer Harvard in Mamarinac. In <laughs> Mamarinac. Officer. Yeah, in Mamarinac. You know, Peter, the uh, funniest story we have about Butch is that education is, Butch, as we all know, is one of the game's great players as a junior player. He got a four-year scholarship in the University of Houston, I believe, in 1960. And the previous year, my father had finished uh, third in the Open at Wingfoot, and he gave Butch a, a set of clubs that he used, his father-to-son gesture. And Butch was there about two or three weeks, and the, the clubs came back in a shoebox. You know, most clubs come back in a box maybe the length of a driver. This came back in a foot joy box, weighed about 20 pounds. So Dad got him reshafted, sent him back to Butch, and uh, oh, two or three weeks later, Dad got a call, and Butch was calling from Palm Springs, California. He had left the University of Houston, and Dad wanted to know why, and he inquired why all this happened. And Butch said that he got upset one day, and he broke all his clubs, and he threw them in a lake, <laughs> and that he was going to join the Army. And Dad thought for a second, he goes, well, God, the least you could have done is join the Navy and go down and get my damn clubs. <laughs> <laughs> that was the kind of sense of humor.